How's it going everyone? As you can see we're in Sony Vegas 17 and today I'm going to show you 10 different solutions. Uh, if you're having issues with your Sony Vegas this should work on older versions as well though I would recommend having the newest up-to-date version of Sony Vegas. Uh, if you're having rendering issues, preview issues with freezing, lagging, flickering, black screens, uh, flashing, we're here to fix all those different issues. So I saw a bunch of videos online um, that had like one or two solutions and they didn't always really work so I'm just here to combine all of the different solutions into one video so we can kind of fix everything so let's just get into it. The first three solutions are kind of obvious these are things that I would recommend if you're having any sort of computer issues so first you'll want to restart your computer, second you'll want to make sure your Sony Vegas is up to date, you may need to reinstall it if nothing else is working and the same goes for your GPU drivers, so I'd recommend making sure those are up to date and also potentially reinstalling them if absolutely nothing else is working. Okay, so let's get into the actual methods. So for the fourth method, you'll want to go to the top of Sony Vegas and click on Options and then click on Preferences and go under the Video tab and where it says dynamic RAM preview, you can either try increasing that number or setting it to zero. Okay, and the next method is under the same place, under options, preferences, the video tab, and you'll wanna find where it says GPU acceleration of video processing. Um, if it has your GPU there, you can try turning it off, or if it is already off, you can try setting it to your GPU. Now, once you apply this, you're gonna to need to restart Sony Vegas in order for it to take effect. So obviously restart Vegas. So if that didn't work for you, you can once again go to options and click preferences. And then under the general tab, you should find an option to tick a box next to enable OpenCL slash GL interop for Intel GPU. Um, by default, I believe it is on, so you can try turning that off, or if for some reason it was turned off, you can try turning it back on. Okay, and so for the seventh method, you can go under the Deprecated Features tab if you're using the newest version of Sony Vegas, and try taking the box next to Allow Legacy GPU Rendering. And this method could basically help anyone who's having issues after their rendering videos or if they're having some sort of issue with their graphics processing. And now for the next two methods, we're going to go under the options menu. And before clicking preferences, make sure you're holding shift. So hold the shift key and then click preferences. And when you do that, it'll give you an extra tab right here, the internal tab. Okay, so once you have the internal tab, um, there are two different uh, methods we can try here, two different solutions. So one thing you can try is typing in OpenCL slash, and then changing right here, enable OpenCL slash GL interop. You can try double clicking it, changing it to false, hit enter, and then you can hit apply and okay. And then if that doesn't fix your issue, you can also try the ninth method here by typing in SO4. And right here, it should be the second one once you type in SO4, called Enable SO4 Compound Reader for AVC slash M2TS. Um, this is true by default, so you can try changing it to false if none of these other methods are working for you. Okay, so this very last method is the one that after I tried all these different methods and other things, none of them worked for me because my issue was specific with the new Blue Effects plugin. So I will say if you're using plugins, you may want to try reinstalling or making, having at least the most up-to-date versions of those plugins um, for, again, trying some of these methods. So if you are using new Blue Effects, one thing that finally worked for me after nothing else would is clicking on any clip in your timeline with a new blue effect on it and then opening that up and clicking the I button inside of the new blue effects effect. Uh, I believe if it is an open effects effect it'll have an about button instead of an I button uh, but then you'll want to try and check the box next to disable GPU for either this product or all products. And once again, you will need to restart Sony Vegas in order for some of these changes to take effect. 
Um, if you're trying multiple of these solutions, I would not recommend doing all of them at once. You may want to just do one or two at once, uh, restarting Sony Vegas every time, and seeing if it either fixes your problem or at least helps it a little bit. If you're still having issues after everything, um, you can leave a comment below. You can even try and make a Reddit post um, or go on the Sony Vegas forums. Uh, I guess the very last thing I could really recommend that you do if absolutely nothing else is working and it's really important, you could try reinstalling Windows. But other than that, that's pretty much every method I've found to fix all these different issues in Sony Vegas that you're having. Uh, if your render or your previews are lagging, freezing, black screening, flickering, flashing, etc.